We'll then talk about what makes a good throw. Then we'll go into understanding pop time. Then we'll get into the bulk of the presentation, the real meat and potatoes, which are the mechanics. Uh, we'll break it down into two different sections to make it easy for you. We'll talk about the upper body first, which would be everything from the waist up, and then we'll move on to the lower body, which is more commonly referred to as footwork. And at the end, we'll talk about a few practice tips. I'll give you a few ideas, uh, a few thoughts, things you can take away that will help you be a better throwing catcher. Just above second base, you see a yellow square or yellow grid. That is the ideal place we'd like to throw the baseball. We still make an accurate throw, and it tails. It's going to have to travel. You'll see our catcher. He starts with his hand behind his throw, behind his. Mitt. As you see in the picture here, this is what I would call a very good high transfer. The first one we talked about is the jab step, and then I mentioned the replacement uh, method I spoke about before, and then lastly we'll have the pivot method.